Hello dear viewers, my name is Farid Nouri and I'm a Migration Consultant in Germany. As you know, in my previous two videos, I explained for you about the seven different cases based on which you can lose your residence permit in Germany. Today, I would like to explain for you about the two other cases based on which you can also lose your residence permit in this country. It is worth mentioning that the revocation and withdrawal procedures of the protection statuses, such as asylum or refugee protection, which is carried out by the Federal Office for Migration and Refugees of Germany, is a different process. And for those of you who are interested to know more about the revocation and withdrawal procedures of the protection statuses in Germany, they can watch my videos about this topic in my this YouTube channel. Now I would like to explain for you the case number 8 and number 9 based on which you can also lose your residence permit in this country. 8. If you leave Germany for non-temporary reasons, such as for attending school or university abroad, working abroad, caring for a family member abroad, marriage abroad or settling abroad and ninth in case of a longer stay abroad in fact generally when you travel abroad you do not lose your residence permit in germany however in some certain cases your residence permit gets invalid and you lose it when you leave germany for a certain period of time, different deadlines must be observed as the residence permit may expire automatically. If you are staying abroad permanently, this means that re-entry into Germany is no longer possible and you can no longer invoke your right of residence in Germany. The following two cases apply to all residence permits. First, if you know before leaving the country that you want to stay abroad for a longer period of time and if the time limit for your residence permit expires before you re-enter Germany, then you should submit an application to your responsible foreigner's office for extension. And second, if the time limit is exceeded because of the completion of military service, then the residence permit does not expire if you re-enter Germany within three months after discharge from military service. In this case, please provide to your responsible foreigner's office documents as proof. It is worth mentioning that this point does not refer to the refugees in Germany who have got a protection status in this country because they are not allowed to visit their country of origin. The following also applies to all residence permits. A residence permit becomes invalid six months after leaving Germany. However, a longer period can be allowed on application if the stay abroad serves the interests of the Federal Republic of Germany. This is the case, for example, where a stay is a development aid worker, is a family member of a German diplomat abroad, is a student of a local university, for one or two guest semesters at a foreign university or to do a part of your study in another European country based on a European Union program or a multilateral European Union program or based on an agreement between two or more higher educational institutions. However, please note that in other cases than what I just mentioned for you, if you leave Germany to start a school or university education abroad, your residence permit becomes invalid as soon as you leave the country. The limit of a six months period does not apply in this case. Or working abroad for an internationally active company based in Germany. In addition, a residence permit in which it is written a researcher, which in German means for sure and the holder of it does a part of his or her research 
in another European country, this person also does not lose his or her residence permit after six months of staying abroad. And last but not least, longer deadlines apply to the European Union Blue Card and the German Permanent Residence Permit, which I am going to explain them each with their details in my upcoming videos. It is worth mentioning that, with the European Union Permanent Residence Permit, under certain conditions you can go to one of the other European Union countries to work or to study there. Similarly, if someone in another European Union country has a European Union Permanent Residence Permit, he or she can, under certain conditions, can come to Germany to work or to study in this country. For more information about the European Union Permanent Residence Permit in Germany and how you can get it and about the fact that if you are the holder of a European Union Permanent Residence Permit from another European Union country, how and under which conditions you can come to Germany to work or to study here, you can watch my videos about these topics in my this YouTube channel. I also put their links under this video for you. Thanks a lot for watching my video. If you would like to get similar important information about the immigration laws in Germany, your rights and duties in German society, the living conditions in Germany, and other such important topics, please subscribe and follow our channel. If you have any questions or remarks about today's topic, you can write it under this video and I will be more than happy to answer it for you.